Prepare to ride the storm on Tempest, a frantic paced woody that takes the classic compound cyclone layout and flips it on its head. Tempest, a compact wooden coaster gnarler with a zero G stall, 1400 meters in track length, also known as 4,400 feet, a 90 second ride duration, top speeds of 60 miles per hour, a three train capacity operation. And this coaster was created with 3000 pieces in Planet Coaster with a vintage Vintage Century theming. Also includes vending machine, marquee with popcorn, claw machine, and the beloved coffee. <laughs> Another absolute masterclass creation here today from the one and only Zephyr. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare to ride the storm in today's episode of Coaster Spotlight. This one's going to be absolutely phenomenal. So buckle up, keep your arms in at all times and join me on today's coaster. We have a musical fountain. <laughs> Look at this. This is absolutely phenomenal. Wow. A monstrous wooden coaster. And this is why they call it the monster. The wooden gnarler monster coaster in Planet Coaster. Ladies and gentlemen, another beautiful creation from the one and only Zephyr, as mentioned earlier in the video <clears throat> again i want to showcase these uh i think i think now at this point i have showcased pretty much every single coaster created by zephyr <laughs> if not zephyr be sure to send in the rest because we love seeing them uh, i think this gives a, a good idea of how you should be making your coaster blueprints um how you should be doing your theming we have the vintage theme used here which is actually Something you don't see too often. Ooh, look at that lighting as well. You got those uh, Christmas lights or those vintage lights. Depends on how you use them. They could be Christmassy or they could be vintagey. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is phenomenal at night. I think we should walk the queue at night. Just get fully immersed here. But uh, yeah, if you guys want to download these uh, coasters and check them out, links are down in the description below. You can also give them a rating. Zephyr does phenomenal coaster blueprints as you've seen in the past. We featured one last week even. And uh, if you go to the link in the description below, you can follow to his workshop. And he's pretty much got page after page after page after page of phenomenal coaster blueprints. Zephyr is one of the OGs who, uh, he was one of the first 10 coaster spotlights or one of the first 10 spotlights on the show uh, I guess like six or seven years ago now at this point. So here we go the boarding station Beautifully decorated beautifully lit super cozy super immersive. I mean, it's phenomenal uh, I already gave the the, the 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 stats at the top of the video But if you guys want to see them There's a second look at them there and we're gonna ride this in multiple perspectives for sure. So buckle up Let's get to it
Wow, a freaking Wii. That is absolutely phenomenal. Has some amazing coaster elements and track length on there. What I really love is the use of the Tempest sign, you know, the, and the vintage theming. As we're going up, we see this beautiful Tempest Tower, and you can see it from all angles of the park. And then as you're coming back into the station right through here, you see it kind of hanging out there on the side. Very strategically placed tower here where you can see it from all angles. I really love that. I mean, that is absolutely phenomenal. Fizzy's knocking things over. Fizzy! I know you guys... <laughs> Love hearing me yell at Fizzy. <laughs> so there it is. Uh, another look at it at nighttime from a bird's eye view. Absolutely impeccable nighttime lighting on this. Let's switch it over today and give it a ride at daytime. <laughs> we had a bit of a flailer there, so I had to switch the camera at the top of the lip there. What I'm going to do here, we're going to we're gonna throw it into test mode, kick all these guests out, and then uh, destroy Zephyr's lovely path so they teleport to the edge. And now we can go ride this in seat view. There we go. Now we won't have any flailers. Enjoy the ride as designed, ladies and gentlemen. Boom, there it is, ladies and gentlemen, an absolute masterclass wooden coaster design right there. Look at this footprint, absolutely amazing. Uh, how you fit that much track into one singular coaster blueprint. Really love the outward banking, like the extreme outward banking on this. Uh, you see it all over many different uh, points throughout the coaster. It's just so perfectly woven in between itself. It's uh, absolutely phenomenal. Even having the wooden coaster going upside down like that, using those no coaster limits is phenomenal right over the coaster sign there 
this is the type of stuff I love to see for Coaster Spotlights, you guys. And honestly, we don't have that many submissions in the inbox for uh, amazing coaster blueprints that are just beautifully themed to this perfection. And I showcased this last week and this week as well. So a little behind the scenes for you guys. I usually start my recordings on Monday. And uh, in order to get something out to you guys right away for Tuesday, I generally like to kind of kick my recordings off, kick, kick the week off with a coaster spotlight. It gets me going, gets the, you know, gets the mojo flowing, gets me in the mood for going up and up and up to bigger creations like those mega parks and uh, park spotlights. And it's always nice to start things off with a coaster spotlight because I can record it, edit it, and render it, make a thumbnail, and get it out to you guys for the very next day uh, within a timely manner. So with that said, I would love to get more coaster spotlights that excite me to start my week off in terms of recording content for you guys. Unfortunately, the bin is a little bit dry. There's not a whole lot of coaster spotlights just, you know, clamoring to get featured here. So uh, just want to use these as examples. If you go see last week's creation from him with the Wave Breaker, as well as this week's with the Tempest, I think these are good examples of what we should be looking at for a coaster spotlight. And if you think you can challenge yourself to do something to this level or better be sure to build it and send it in and i'll be filtering by the the latest creations sent in so i'll go to my coaster spotlight inbox filter by date that means if you start building now and get it in for next week or the week after and you do it to this quality there's a good chance you'll be featured on a tuesday so i want to challenge you guys to make a really good themed coasters and uh, send them in so that we have a little bit more coaster spotlights to feature so that we're not uh, forced to do coaster contests to get more coaster spotlights. But I mean, hey, this is coaster spotlight 1000 and something. It doesn't surprise me that we're actually finally running low on coaster spotlights. Uh, the fact that I got through a thousand of them over the last, you know, several years um, pretty much means I featured almost everything that you guys have sent in. So kudos Kudos to me for actually doing, getting through all of them, uh, and uh, kudos to you guys for making it a wonderful journey along the way. But uh, the journey continues, so send in your coaster spotlights, guys, and use Zephyr as the benchmark. Boom, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. What did you think of Zephyr's Tempest coaster? Leave your thoughts down in the comments below, and that is going to do it for me in today's episode of Coaster Spotlight. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.